Hello and welcome to the latest Crafty Snipers Airsoft videos. On today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Simer Pump Action Triple Shot Shotgun. Now, as you know, the last video I did, I did at Combat Zone, and today is exactly the same. I am at Combat Zone again in Lincolnshire with the guys from Lincolnshire Airsoft Club, who currently have just literally started the match on the other side of the site. This has given me plenty of time to review this product. I'm going to talk about the external qualities of this weapon, some of the internals, I'm going to show you how it works and I'm also going to shoot that big metal target over there. So anyway, before we get on to the fun part where I actually shoot something, like I say, this is a Sima product. Now, I've been in the airsoft world about three odd years now, just over three years, and I've heard of Sima. I've also heard of Sima's bad quality. Now I just want to say, this like I say, it's my first Simon product, and to be honest with you, I don't quite see where the bad product comes into this, because this is actually really, really good. I myself own two pump-action shotguns, one being the Tokyo Murray Spaz 12, a uh, triple-shot shotgun, and I also own a 15-pound generic black shotgun, uh, which is single-shot. Both those shotguns are majority plastic. The TM1, great quality, great range, for a triple shot shotgun. This is certainly, probably more than 75% of the external uh, materials is metal. This thing is really good quality. Now we're gonna start at the back, uh, showing you this off. And we have uh, a very molded pistol grip. Very, very comfortable, I've got rather large hands. I have no problem gripping this, uh, I have no problem uh, you know, comfort-wise. I think if you had small hands, it would be better. You could certainly reach all the uh, buttons and functions uh, on this shotgun with ease. Moving on up, you end up at the plastic low receiver. On the other side, you have a little plastic uh, breaching area, which doesn't move. Um, but yeah, that's all plastic. Good quality plastic. No real giving it, no creak in it. Very, very good quality. Moving on forward to the pump. Uh, that's plastic. There's a little bit of play in this, if you can hear that. But, to be honest with you, my Spaz 12 from Tokyo Rui, that makes funny noises as well when you move, uh, move the pump a little bit. Uh, the £15 one definitely creaks and groans and all the rest of it because it's only worth £15. Above the pump you find a metal outer barrel. This is quite a long outer barrel for a shotgun, even though the, even though the size is, uh, well, very, very small for a shotgun. But the pH of the resistance on this particular shotgun, and something I don't have on my Spaz 12 or the generic shotgun, is a folding stock. You have a button at the rear, just here. If you press this in, it allows you to flip the stock back, allowing you to make your shotgun now fully shoulderable and increasing your accuracy. It's usually what these stocks do. I always found that when you have a shotgun that doesn't have a stock on it, the accuracy can suffer a little bit due to the fact, and I'll show you this, you're holding it like so. You're not shouldering the back end of this thing. You're having to pump this gun, and as you're doing that and firing, you tend to move the gun. You'll try your best not to move it, but you will, and this is gonna affect accuracy. And when your rate of fire is only as fast as you can pump this thing, you need to get as much accuracy as you can. So you end up with this metal stock. Uh, so pressing the button in, lifting it up, folding it back, it locks into place, there's a little bit of giving it, nothing too much, but it allows, allows you now to shoulder the weapon. That metal stock makes all the difference in my eyes when it comes to uh, this weapon. Now another plus side, my TM shotgun takes shotgun shells. The 15 pound special takes special magazines that are nothing like shells. So what does the Sima shotgun take? Take shells. The same as a Tokyo Marui Spaz 12. There are Tokyo Marui ver versions of these uh, shells. They hold 30 BBs, they're spring loaded. You will need a speed loader, which I have somewhere. Ah, in my pocket. Generic speed loader. Shell, you put 30 BBs into this. Because this is firing three shots per trigger pull, you're gonna get 10 shots before this shell is empty. Now to load the shell into the gun, 
get a bit closer, we have a little button just here. And if you press that button, it drops open the latch. You take your single shell, load it up, always front end first, and then push the back end in, shut the door, way ho, that's it, loaded. That's how simple this weapon system is. You have a safety, fully working safety, I should say, just here, I don't know whether you can just see where my finger is, and uh, basically, it is a push to the left or push to the right uh, to activate and take off the safety or to make the gun live and ready to fire. So, to operate the gun, you put your shell in it, take hold of the pump, load, fire. That's as simple as it gets. Do it again. Shell it up close. That's how you fire the Simer pump action triple shot shotgun. Now I still have a few rounds left in this target, oh sorry, in this uh, shell. And I'm itching to shoot that target over there. Now what this is, is uh, what we call the village at Combat Zone. And there's many of these metal structures all over the place. Um, it's corrugated uh, metal, it's very good for BBs because they make a lovely noise when you hit them. And now we're going to hit that one over there with three rounds or whatever rounds are left, I should say, from this shell. Just imagine if you was on the inside of that building. You try and take cover and you have three rounds being continuously smacked against it. Make you scared, wouldn't it? You want to stick your head out of there, wouldn't you, for sure. Anyway, shell's empty. So to reload, let's say, pop open the uh, latch. Now be very careful, the uh, shell can fall out of this if you're, care, if you're a bit too uh, vigorous with the shotgun. But you pull it out, shut the door, put your weapon onto safe. And when it comes to loading this thing, like I say, you get your speed loader. And you'll just notice there is a nipple-like thing sat out here. Push that in, so that it's in like that. Get hold of your speed loader. And load in 30 rounds, like so. So now, once again, we have 30 rounds left in our shell. And I think, once again, that building's gonna get some. It's fun. It really is fun shooting one of these pump action shotguns. Whether it be this Simon shotgun, whether it be my Tokyo Mui Spaz 12, these things are great. Now these have been sold by the guys here at Lincolnshire Airsoft Club. You can pick them up obviously on the internet. The price of this majority metal shotgun with your folding metal stock, and I do believe this comes with uh, a shell, a 30 round shell, is going to be around £70 plus. £70, basically £75 for a very good shotgun. Obviously this is a woodland, this is a paintball site, but this is a woodland environment. This probably is a little bit out of the range uh, for this particular weapon. But if you got up close to someone, it's going to scare the crap out of them. However, if you went to a CQB site where you're up close and personal, you don't suffer with one of these things because the range is going to be less than what this shotgun can put out and you're guaranteed to hit them, you get a good spread of your ammunition. Now talking about ammunition, what I've been using in this video are Blaster .25s and I've always found the .25s to be the best uh, of the ammunition grades that you want to put into a pump action triple shot shotgun. Why .25s? They're heavier than twos obviously and the .25s will stay closer. As they leave the gun, obviously there's three barrels in this uh, gun, so each BB leaves a barrel. If the heavier the round, the closer the spread will be, or the less spread there will be. 
and there's a chance that you'll hit your target. Now if you use point twos, the, the rounds are lighter and there's always a chance that the BBs at range are going to just split apart and go completely around the target. So, that was the review of the Cyma product pump action shotgun triple shot, or should I say triple shot shotgun. If you enjoy this video, I enjoy doing these videos here, certainly a nice uh, change to uh, where I normally do them. Anyway, stay safe, hope you've enjoyed this video, hope you enjoyed uh, me uh, reviewing this Cyma product, I certainly have enjoyed it. Uh, big thanks goes out to Lincoln Airsoft Club for lending me uh, this shotgun. Uh, anyway, stay safe, hope to see you soon in the next video, have fun.